Have you ever wondered how two players can sound so completely different playing the same song? This comes about from them each playing different licks in the same spot of the song. We'll use the song John Hardy to demonstrate how this is done. John Hardy from my CD Rapid Transit has been playing in the background. In it I play seven different variations, all of them hinting at the melody. Before swapping out licks you'll want to have a basic version of the song you wish to do this with. If you already know a version, go with that. If not, here's my basic version. Notice that the solo breaks into phrases which we have labeled. Recognizing this will help us when we go to swap out our licks. To begin to swap out licks you must know the chords to the song. Here are the chords to John Hardy. Notice that each lick will be two measures long. We'll actually begin our studies by swapping out the final lick which we identify as phrase 5. That's because this is a very familiar lick, you've probably heard it and played it before. We call those tag licks, they come on at the end of the solo. That could be replaced by what we're labeling as 5A. Or 5B. Here's 5C. And lastly, 5D. The best way to master new licks is to put them in loops for practice. Here we will do that by playing phrase 4 followed by the new lick. Let's now turn our attention to phrase 1, which goes like this in the original. That phrase has an F note in it, even though we're going to consider it a C lick. That helps remind people of the melody of John Hardy. So one of our variations, the very first one, 1A, one goes like this. And that one is simplified from the previous one, which points out that sometimes you may need to find easier licks to help you get through a complete solo. Lick 1B basically gives us the same sound, just a little bit higher up the neck. Lick 1C. Very syncopated which brings up the point that sometimes there will be licks in other people's solos that just don't quite jive for you. So pick the ones that work for you out of all these that we offer you. And here's lick 1D. Phrase 2 is a two measured G lick. Here's lick 2A. Here's 2B, a melodic lick. In John Hardy, the G licks are followed by C licks, so sometimes we give a hint of that by throwing some pickup notes in there. Here's lick 2C, you'll slide with your first finger. And 
lick 2D has some triplets in there. John Hardy is unique in that it's in the key of G, but it has six measures of D. So we'll need lots of D licks. Each one is two measures long. Here's lick 3A. Here's 3B. Move your fingers up to what forms a D7 up here at fret 5. Same roll in the right hand. Here's lick 3C. Little Reno in the right hand going on there. And lastly, of our four licks, here's 3D. Phrase 4 will continue to be D licks, but a very special kind of D lick that leads the listener to believe the tag lick is about to follow. So that was a famous Earl Scruggs lick, lick 4A. Here's lick 4B. You can begin to see how we're going to be swapping out the licks. I changed the tag lick there. Here's 4C. And lastly, a Reno Bonanza on lick 4D. One last type of lick I like to put in is called a sequence. That's a two measure D lick. I can repeat the idea at a lower pitch. That will be followed by a finishing lick and a tag lick. Before stringing a bunch of licks together to create a solo, take a quick second to review the type of licks we'll be using. With the handful of licks that we've gone over, you now have hundreds of ways to possibly play John Hardy. This will be the way I'll string the licks together, just to give you an example. If you'd be interested in having a PDF of all the licks and all the solos presented in this video, just check the description below for an email address. And here is the tab for the swapped out licks in our final solo. We'll play it at a fairly quick tempo, so use the YouTube settings if you need to slow it down.